Hey guys, Sue HD here, and I am back with another reaction video. And today I'm going to be reacting to Mallow Reviews, Castle Mania, and Daring Don't, and Flight to the Finish. So yeah, this time I'm going to react to three um, Mallow Reviews videos. I know in like each um, episode of my reaction to um, Mallow Reviews, I only did one. But one, one time in, at, on Christmas 2015, I did two this time. So yeah, this time I'm doing three, because I need to catch up on Model Review Season 4, since I caught up on After the Fact Season 4. So yeah, I'm starting off with Castle Mania. Let's jump in! Right oh my god, guys. Like, oh my god. Oh, okay. And I had doubts about the season because McCarthy had to come in and kill all my hopes and dreams. And I just sit in a room, alone, and stare at a wall, and slowly contemplate my existence. I'm losing everything I ever cared about! Okay then, Ron. And, I'm alright. <sighs> but this episode, ugh, so good. So the episode starts off with over yeah, it's pretty good. of awesome sauce. I swallowed awesome to see if she can find anything on that secret MacGuffin box the game found earlier. Princess Celestia recommends searching through the library of that old castle she and Luna has an option. In a way, that makes sense, but I get the feeling that Celestia is just trying to keep them out of Canterlot. Oh, that's Celestia! Of and course, then... that's Celestia. Seen so many books in all my life. So it's of course, Beauty and the Beast, Gathen, Rainbow Dash, and Applejack are having a dick measuring contest. Uh, what else is new? And turns out they're tied somehow. So cut to them heading towards the castle to end the bet. And then Rarity and Fluttershy are also heading towards the castle in pursuit of some ancient fabrics. I wouldn't usually mind how everyone is conveniently going towards the same source, but the way Rarity talks about those tapestries pains me to think of those magnificent creations rotting away in those old ruins, totally unappreciated. I see. Oh yeah. Yeah, I see that too. And why did you bring Angel again? Discord's not here to torture him. Ugh, Angel. So as the cast continues on their individual quests, there seems to be something mysterious. Yeah, Angel deserves that. Secret doors. Such a little brat, pathways. am I right? And traps. Lions and tigers <laughs> and bears. Uh, Wizard oh, of Oz. And Rainbow Dash and Applejack continue to have that contest all the way. Oh, get a room, you two. We're in a room. Well, then lose some weight. And Angel hey, is in Twilight the whole time. Wait, this needs some Benny Hill music. <laughs> Scooby Doo. Part is <gasps> Angel? Angel. I'm a horrible person, I know. Oh wait, one more gag. Really? Sorry. So once every pony figures out the whole group is there, mine is Pinky. And conflict resolved. Then who's playing that? Kind of. And turns out it was Pinky the yep, whole time. Definitely Pinkie Pie. Of course it was. So the episode wraps up, everyone realized how silly they were being, and now we have a diary thing instead of letters to Celestia. Joy. I shall miss those letters. Yeah, I miss those letters too. So what makes the episode work so freaking well is the characterization of everyone, coupled with how they were handled in the episode. How each pony bumps into each other could have been lazy, but alas, no! The little touches that make these events happen really bring some great comedic timing. New favorite episode of season 4. Okay. That was pretty short. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, Castlemania was pretty epic. Um, yeah, seeing like Angel Bunny like being part of this and then getting lost from Fluttershy. And we have like the whole game split up. And of course, Pinkie Pie was the last to be found. She was playing the piano all the time. And making Spike believe that there was like a monster like in that abandoned castle and then getting him terrorized to death. Yeah, I'd be terrorized to death, too, if I saw a monster like that. Alright, uh... Anyways, let's get on with the next one, which is... My Review's Daring Don't. Give me a minute. I need to get this at a stable point. Alright, let's see... I love Kim Possible a Lot's um, review on a Rainbow Dash episode. Minute. Okay, uh, let's uh, jump right in. The amount of fangirl in this episode. It's over 9,000! I mean, the fangirl <laughs> was fangirling about this episode, and Rainbow Dash was fangirling about this episode, and. And now you know how it feels. Whoa, it feels calm it so down there, right, bro. Doesn't it? So right. Um. Anyway, the episode starts off with Rainbow Dash being impatient about the new Daring Do book. We don't know that feel at all. Just replaced four months with however far away the new season is. Yeah. Familiar. Then Indiana Jones out, the music in the delayed. background. So Rainbow Dash thinks it's a good idea to speed up the process by going to author A.K. Yearning's house, Indiana Jones style. That's right. Of course, I had a fan grown on the Indiana Jones series. Of course, Pinky had just had to bring the paint. Stocking, I mean arriving, at Yearning's house. Seriously, the house is in the middle of the woods. But then. This is for me the most confusing part of the episode. Sure it is awesome that Daring Dude has become fictionalized and is now a real pony in this world. But from what I can tell, Dude didn't even bother to change her name in the books, or the name of her enemies. Doesn't that make her even more of a threat? Especially considering how easily Twilight found the address. I mean, how does that make any sense? No wonder the bad guys had such an easy time getting to Dude's house. Reminds me of something. Of course, get Possible's house. Oh! Protection from people trying to hurt you? You know that's a thing, right? So the bad guys get away with the Nuva Ring, but Daring Do insists that she must work alone. You know, like... Batman! Sorry. So, totally she tries to get her hand back on the ring, we get some fun banter from her and her villain. There's a cat. Gotta love that freaking cat. So Do gets captured, Such and a small the main cat. six to the rescue. With the help of the main six, Do gets free, the bad guys get distracted... Why does this remind me of something? Of course, the Crusher Girls scene. Oh. Anyway, one of the scenes I found interesting is when Dash and Dew are removing the rings. Dew reminds me of a young Twilight, not wanting any help, only for ponies to come anyway and her appreciating their presence. You know, maybe we'll get Princess Daring Dew in the future. <laughs> So, in the end, Impatience saves the day! Dash gets a copy of her Do book early, Do herself still hasn't learned her lesson about naming people different things in her book. And all is well. Despite the and of course, Rainbow Dash anything, is featured on the cover. The expands what they wanted for a long time. It also expands the universe of Pony by canonizing all Daring Do and gives an overall fun adventure with an Indiana Jones style twist. I like it. Good episode. Well done, writers. Those poor fanfic writers, though. Yeah, you should feel bad for them. Come on! Nuva Ring. 
Okay, so yeah. Yeah, I love KP a lot does a review on a Rainbow Dash episode and a Daring Do episode. So yeah. Yeah, I did like uh, Daring Do. Yeah, I loved how Rainbow Dash learned a lesson that um, Daring Do had to work alone because it's her destiny. But Rainbow Dash comes and saves the day and then they got like a reference from a scene from A Course Drag Girls. And yes, um... So yeah, it came to conclusions that Daring Do and Rainbow Dash are now friends. And of course, Rainbow Dash gets that book early and sees that she's on the cover. Congratulations to Rainbow! Congratulations to her. Anyways, uh, let's get on with the very last one. Or just last one. Not the very last one, um, uh, Twilight's Castle is the la very last one in Season 4. Just let me get this set up. Okay. Hold on a minute. Okay, I think I should be good. Anyways, uh, let's jump right in! Oh, hold on. That took a long time. Let me do that one more time. Okay, let's jump right in! This episode is so freaking adorable yep. and I can't contain it. So the episode starts off with Miss Harshwinnie. You guys remember her, right? Who has a of course, Miss Harshwinnie. She has a way of telling the class about the opportunity to carry the flag for Ponyville in the Equestrian Games. She also has the biggest stick up her ass that I've ever seen. Christ, this bitch needs to get laid. Anyway, after Dash bursts in, the cast has a whole talk about professionalism. Professionalism, Miss Dash. Professionalism, goddammit. Am I the only one who thought Dash's excitement was needed? I mean, there's somewhat of a selling point here to get these kids excited. Someone's gotta be a good sales pony around here. Oh, whatever. So the episode progresses, and the King Rock Crusaders get the first song of season four. Mulan. And boy, did I like it. Mr. Roll, make a man. Of course, this song. Out of you. Sorry, but I think the real point of this episode is to show that Silver Spoon and Diamond Tiara are bitches. That's you right. I want to break up. Can we please just go Breaking Bad on these guys and just poison them or shoot them and leave their bodies somewhere in the New Mexican desert? God knows that they deserve it. You're goddamn right. Anyway, <laughs> Breaking I'm Bad. Sure people have already noticed this, but the fact that Scootaloo can't fly has become canon here. I mean. In the but past, she is learning. Hints that this is the case, but now it's being addressed openly, which is a nice. It doesn't matter how terrible a Pegasus is so if you can't fly. For the sake of the routine, you just need to learn. And lets her shame get the best of her. But then, in the end, Rainbow Dash gives her emotional encouragement speech. The emotions, man. So routine totally. by Harsh Winnie, bitch poshy shunned. We get a Kitty Mark cop out, and apparently Harsh Winnie took my advice. I bet it was Snowflake. Gross. Both well, biceps. This episode was good. From amazing issues that bugged everyone. Why is everyone calling both biceps oh, snowflake? Biceps to having some great moments to that damn song. Keep it up, season four. Keep it up. Oh, that was short. Excuse me. What's the matter? You hate that sweetie bell? <laughs> oh man. So yeah, flight to finish. Yeah, I didn't like how Damatiar and Silverspoon were acting like, like total jerks against Scootaloo because Scootaloo can't fly. But uh, at the end, uh, Rainbow Dash gave her an emotional speech that made her feel encouraged. And at the end, uh, Scootaloo learned a lesson that no matter what you are, you still need to learn to fly. Yeah. But we hope in an episode of Season 7, we see an episode where Scootaloo can fly. Yeah, I hope we get an episode of that. 
Alright guys, I'm getting it off here. Once again guys, thanks for watching and ahoy!